with so many good teams in the AFC 8, the game today over 500, and you know that this coin flip with the Steelers before the game was watched by just about everybody. Point is, so many good teams going into it, some of them are going to be left on the floor. Drew Bledsoe, Gary Glenn. Hey, Drew has played so well the last two weeks, and despite the broken finger, it's Glenn with a 43 under help setting up a field goal 3 0. But at times, the broken finger looks like came into play. Second quarter, 6 0 Patriots. It's a wobbler, and he shall be a Levon Kirkland makes the interception. And this just looks like a pass that got away from Drew Bledsoe. He focused well. He had a good rhythm with his throw. A nice arm action. Ball just kind of wobbled on him, and LeVon Kirkland picked it off. Set up a field goal, 6-3. to three. Bledsoe, Terry Glenn, when you have the deep threat, you can do different things. Glenn has been absent all year. He bombed Darren Perry on this 13-3, 86-yard touchdown. 13-6 in the third. Bledsoe steps up. At time, he looked very sharp, but at other times, Pittsburgh's defense kept their team in it. Chris Oldham makes the pick, which turns it to the 47. Next possession for Bill Cowher. Third down. Cordell Stewart looking for Slash Jr. Hines Ward. What a play by big play Willie Clay. It's a great read by the safety. Willie Clay made up his mind where the ball was going to go and gets there right on time to knock it down. 16-9. Patriots fourth quarter, Chad Eaton makes the hit on Jerome Bennis, the bus blows a tire. 12 carries, 48 yards, Pete Carroll's defense doing the job on Bennis again. Next possession for the pass, Bledsoe to Ben Coates. Boy, it's a tough one. Look at how far downfield Kirkland was on the cover. Yeah, LeVon Kirkland, 265, 270 pounds, able to run with Ben Coates all the way down the football field. And you have to allow some amount of contact. The official didn't see it that way. He made the call right there on the goal line. Well, and the next play to the chagrin of the Steelers with nine and a half to go. Robert Edwards, boom, stop. No, he's not stopped. It's a touchdown. The Patriots have opened up a two-touchdown lead, 23-9. Late in the game. Remember the Army-Navy game yesterday in Philly? This is Pittsburgh, and thank goodness nobody was underneath the cinder blocks or leaning on the railing. Poor fellow, what is going on in the stadiums in Pennsylvania? Well, I'll tell you what went on on the football game today. The Patriots bled, so I know we showed the picks. 21-34 for 327. The Patriots win at 23-9, and it was their efficiency in offense at times. Pittsburgh offense looked Dreadful. Well, you see the three interceptions there by Drew Bledsoe, but the 28 carries that they got Robert Edwards allowed them to control the football, even though he only had the 66 yards. It's about setting up play-action pass by the number of carries you get with the ball. Yeah, Pittsburgh did not play their typical sharp effort at home, and it may cost them as they big time as they fall to 7-6. and six. The Patriots at 8-5. and five.